How do you build a house for a single mom pregnant with twins by her now married best friend in The Sims 4? Well, sit back and let me show you. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. You're watching Just a Mom That Sims. I'm KT, and I'm here today for a house build. This house is for a Sims 4 Unfaithful series. That's right. Let me go ahead and give my normal disclaimer. I do not edit my voiceovers when I do speed builds, nor do I do any taking out of any any ums, okays, ahs, coughs, or sniffles. So please excuse those things. And most of all, please excuse my slow Southern United States drawl. I'm going to talk about the build, but also talk about the series. So what I am doing is building Nia a home, and this will be the first home that she has ever owned, and I am building in Tumarang. She can go down and she can swim, but this is going to be a three-bedroom, two-bathroom home. Now, once I cashed out of her rent and broke her leads and sold her furniture, Nia had about 33,000 simoleons, and I felt like I could do a really good build with this so Nia is buying a fixer upper home but she is decorating it really nice on the inside and then on the outside it's got some work that needs to be done but it's got a lot of character and charm and when Nia saw it she instantly fell in love with it so again I'm talking about the build but in the series Nia is one of three stars the star of the series is Jamie Hart now Jamie has been or have been best friends with Nia from childhood and they really became close in college and at some point Nia started to develop feelings for her bestie Jamie but he just couldn't see it at the time so at some point in our early story he starts to feel the shift in how Nia feels about him but also how he feels about her. During this same time frame Jamie also starts to have feelings for Blake because Blake is really outgoing. She is an adventurer. She likes to ski, rock climb. She does snowboarding. She does all of those things. Now back over to the house. This is going to be a kind of a split level house. Is that what they call them? Look, I'm not an architecture person. I just try to build a few things in the Sims. But basically Nia's bedroom is going to be upstairs in a little four towel tiny bath bathroom and I'm going to go back and readjust for that bathroom so that is going to be the upstairs downstairs you're going to have the room for the twin babies but also a guest room up front as they get older they will want to split rooms and then we'll have a twin in each room then you're going to have a living room I'm going to put an archway because the living room is going to be up front on the right now the kitchen is going to be at the back on the right side so I'm just going to have an archway that leads from the kitchen to the living room the house is almost like a u-shape you do have to walk through the twins room to get to the bathroom that'll be a little different but i didn't really plan this build out at all before i started building <laughs> so i sat here for like 20 minutes trying to think of what to do i'm putting the staircase outside in this open area I'm also going to put a grill and two plastic chairs so you can just like hang out and sit down if it's raining and you just want to be outside and get fresh air in the rain. So that's what we're doing for Nia. This house, I'm hoping to have a few thousand simoleons left out of her 33,000. I'm trying to fully furnish it, but it won't be fully decorated. I will decorate as she earns more simoleons. So back to our story, Nia is a painter. Her former best friend, Jamie, is a art critic and Blake is his co-worker she's on the critic field too we're thinking she's going to be an art critic because she really loves art and Jamie started dating Blake and then he was also dating Nia and they had a talk and up until this point in the series what had happened was Jamie had talked to Nia and Nia agreed to be in a somewhat of a love triangle situation she wanted him to really choose her to make up his mind and to see her for who she really was and the crazy thing is Jamie knew exactly who Nia was but 
he was starting to have feelings for Blake too, but it seems like he just couldn't pick Nia and leave Blake alone or pick Blake and leave Nia alone. So he told Nia that he would talk to Blake and see if she was agreeable to a very temporary love triangle. They were not planning to share him long term. Nia just wanted to give him some space to make a decision, but she also knew that what she felt was important too. But alas, alas, I said it. <laughs> Jamie had lied to Nia. He never talked to Blake about seeing Nia. And they had, you know, a pact about being safe in the Woohoo Protection Department. However, Jamie and Nia tended to get kind of caught up in the moment a lot of times. Whereas with Blake, she would make the first move with Jamie a lot of the times, which he really liked that he liked that she knew what she wanted and was not afraid to go after it. But as a result, him and Nia did not use protection a couple of times and boom, she ended up pregnant. So now we were back to a very tough situation. Um, In the build, I'm trying to make the home look older on the outside, but I don't want the whole thing to look that way. I really struggled to find a watch that matched on both sides, but this worked close enough because I have a swatch where you could see like some damage to the paint on the wall but some of the walls look fine and that's exactly what I was going for I'm having trouble with the doors and windows so I think I'm gonna do these windows and I also use the room automatic placement on the windows it always gets it really close to me I have trouble placing windows sometimes and what I do is go back and pull some of the extra windows that the room placement button automatically puts there but I do like this window and doors because I can put like the metal screen door looking door on the back side of the house because I want a way to get in and out through the house so I'm also going to put a tree house out here because Nia's having twins now a boy and a girl and I think that they would like to play together as they grow up or maybe one of them wants to play but she's going to work hard to get them a tree house built I thought about doing an accent wall behind her bed with brick and realized that really didn't fit the aesthetic so I'm just going to do a solid green because I got a green theme going on inside the house even the bathrooms have like the green tile accents at the top now I also use the flower wallpaper in the guest rooms and the bedroom from the new love struck pack I kind of struggle like how to place that and it not look tacky because I'm not a decorator especially I'm not one of those <laughs> I really like that a lot so I'm gonna use that now back to the story so Nia actually saw Blake and Jamie out at the beach after she had invited him out. It was a holiday that they usually, you know, hung out together, even just as best friends. And he said that he couldn't come but then he ended up going with Blake. She saw how cozy they were and something in her mind told her that Blake just did not know about their situation that they were both seeing Jamie and she knew because she would run out she would go out and run into them Nia and Blake actually became friends they really liked each other they had art in common the quietness and Nia appealed to the more outgoing side of Blake so they got along well but once Nia knew she took Jamie to the side right there at the beach so you definitely have to check out that episode if you have not I think it's called <laughs> pregnant with one engaged to another so yeah that was Jamie and Nia told him like hey I'm pregnant so now you really need to tell Nia and at this point Nia or you need to tell Blake at this point Nia had really lost any hope of a relationship because Blake had been a friend to her and Jamie had been her best friend had never lied to her up until that point when he did and at that point she knew like I can't be with him in that way but we've got this baby she thought it was one at the time we found out in the last episode that it's two <laughs> so yeah she tried to talk to him and he still did not tell Blake the truth and Blake deserved to know the truth but what he did do he had planned to propose and he went ahead and proposed to her that day Nia saw it but she went on about her business she was really upset behind this she went home to see her dad who she had 
I don't want to say the relationship was strained, but she just had some feelings about her childhood and how she was raised after her mom died. But her dad loves her very much. He encouraged her during that trip that it would be okay, that she would be able to be a good mother and that he would help when he could, any way that he could. He gave her a digital sketch pad so that she had more than her easel so she could paint on the go. She's going to be tired as a mama and with twins now we know she'll be real tired but Nia's sole income is painting so all of this fun she made from painting her dad did promise her five thousand dollars for the babies to help with their expenses right away so he definitely plans to go through with that so that's why today as i'm building i'm spending her down to two thousand simoleons he will give her some money and then she will be really good you know she should be okay to pay her bills and things again this is the first home that she has owned and we are i've renamed it paradise view you can see in the top right hand or top left hand corner because it is her slice of paradise and her chance at a new start and that's how nia is taking this but what she hasn't done is told jamie about the twins yet she did call him because he was supposed to go to the ultrasound appointment where they found out with the baby but he was on his honeymoon with blake and they up until that point now i will say jamie took the news of her pregnancy really bad he even questioned if the baby was his knowing as her best friend that she was not seeing anyone else that's just not even the way she moves and he knew that but he had accepted it and he had not missed any doctor's appointments he had been to everyone with her but he had not gone on the honeymoon but it gets juicy because right before he gets married blake has started to call nia he she knew that her fiance was acting strange so she pushed nia into meeting up with her nia didn't want to nia had already been to the hospital a few times because her blood pressure was high she was really stressed out about the whole situation and she was in danger of losing her baby twice and so she didn't want to do this but she met up with blake and blake instantly knew that nia was pregnant so for this build i'm mostly using a horse ranch pack the horse ranch pack i'm using for rent and love struck now i do use some items from a few other packs definitely like the pizza maker waffle maker that's home shelf hustle but for the most part most of the items are from those three packs so if you've got horse ranch and you've got love struck and you've got for rent and you will have 98 percent of the items in this house so and then the rocking chairs from grow together because i love those soft rocking chairs in this home because nia's gonna need a lot of softness in her life but she has really put jamie behind her as far as her romantic feelings and she has determined no matter what he says that she will not fall back into any kind of relationship with him but he has also not tried to rekindle anything with her but they both come to the conclusion that they need to co-parent so jamie and nia are co-parenting or practicing to be ready to because he's been doing the doctor's appointments but he missed this one so she called him but she didn't want to leave it in like a voice message or a text like hey we're having twins by the way and so she's waiting for him to come over because he's supposed to come check on her as soon as he finishes the honeymoon so let's do the walkthrough of the house um we can have maintenance troubles on this lot this is the living room and if you spin around you can see her her desk a picture of her i'm not gonna like that picture that is a modded picture ravishing i won't like it until she has the babies and their infants but this is her kitchen and it's actually a nice size kitchen this 33,000 simoleons went much farther than i thought i really did use really cheap nice looking furniture this is a modded crib because i wanted the twinsy cribs where they could lay next to each other and i've got fruits and vegetables on the baby's floor because i'm doing that theme the greenery in the house this is just the bathroom downstairs i couldn't fit a sink in there because 
you wouldn't be able to use it. This is the guest room, and you could see in the corner we just passed, Nia is still packing or unpacking. So you could see her trunks in the corner. And then I'm going to show you her walking because in the middle, this is the grill I was talking about, and I just did a simple seating area. I want to buy some lights to hang up on the walls out here so it won't be pitch black at night. I'll add it. That's the fuse box. On the other side is the water heater that I didn't show you. This is her bedroom. That picture is mighty. So I'm not going to check it as mighty because only a few things are. But this is her bedroom. I just love the view. And we're going to go in her bathroom. She's got a four tile bathroom, toilet sink, and a uh, shower on the other side. Outside is the tree house. And she's going to come out here and start building. And as she does, this is for sure where we're going to get ready to leave this build and i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time remember keep simming be happy and always have a blessed day bye bye